hello everyone welcome to my channel in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can create this ratchet metallic helmet using blender software as you can see here the level of details is very impressive however the use of shading nodes are very complex so first i'm gonna start by hiding the other helmet by selecting them in each then gonna add a new material let's start by the principal bstf i'm gonna increase the metallic decrease roughness then click shift a to add noise texture then click ctrl t to use the node printer and block the object into the mapping node after that, click Shift A and add a color ramp. Lock the factor into the factor. Then select the color ramp and adjust the colors until you will see a little scratch on the helmet surface. Then click Control Shift to visualize the scratch. I'm gonna adjust it just like that. And don't forget to change the X value of the scale of the mapping node. All right, then select the three nodes, click Control G, then click N and name it Scratch 1. After that, duplicate those scratch group and put it here. Then plug the object into the mapping node. You're gonna change it to scratch two. Now to add more details, we're gonna use a Voronoi texture and do the same thing here. Or not. Click Shift and D to duplicate it. Select the first Voronoi and change F1 to distance to H. And leave the second Voronoi as it is. After that, we're gonna add color ramp. Click Shift and D to duplicate. Then add a math note. Plug the two color ramp here and the distance into the factor the two Vernoi texture. I'm gonna start by the first Vernoi, click Control and Shift. Here you can see the Vernoi effect, then change the white value of this color ramp until you get the smooth lines then select the second color ramp by clicking ctrl shift and adjust the black color until you will see those black dots and also change the white color then select all these nodes click ctrl g name it scratch 3 Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Click Shift and D to duplicate those nodes and change the name to Scratch 4. Now click Shift and A and add a mapping node. Block the vector into the vector of the two Voronoi texture. Then plug the mapping node into object of the texture coordinate just like that then we're gonna add a value notes this value notes gonna control the effect of scratch choose a value of 0 
then plug it into the full group of scratch. Just like that. Plug them into the scale. And the last one. Okay, now to visualize all these scratches, we're gonna use mix RGB. Click Shift and A and add a mix RGB. Then change it to darken. And add the first one, second one, change the factor to the maximum, do the same here. Okay, now we're gonna add another mix RGB to mix everything together. Let's visualize. As you can see, such are visible. Now that we have our scratches, we're gonna add more details using a bump node. So let's add a bump node. Put it here, click Shift and D to duplicate. Then duplicate this mix RGB. And block the color into the height. Then the normal into the height and the normal into the normal click control and shift to visualize then decrease strength of this one oh sorry for the second bump node just plug the normal into the normal and now you will see the effect See, the bump node added more depth into the helmet. So let's decrease. And I'm gonna just leave it like that. However, I'm gonna decrease factor to gain more depth into the scratches. Okay, now we can choose or we can start working on the color of the helmet. To do that, we're gonna add a color ramp. And a geometry notes. Plug the pointiness to the factor. And the color into the base color of the principal BSDF. Click Control and Shift. We're gonna choose the wanted color for our helmet. Let's select the black color and change it. I'm gonna choose a gold helmet. And do the same here. And once we choose the color, we're gonna work on the roughness of the material by adding a color ramp. Then block the pointiness, the factor, 
and the color into the roughness of the principal BSDF. Let's wait for it to load. Then change the black color to get a nice metallic effect. Also increase the white one. Adjust it as you want. It's all matter of taste here. I'm gonna leave it like that. And here you can see the level of details creating by those notes. After that, we're gonna add some rust by using a noise texture. Then I'm gonna add Musgrave tex texture and a mix RGB. Plug the mix RGB here and plug the height to the color too. Let's wait for it to load. Then plug the factor into the vector of the noise texture. And we're gonna wait for it. Now we're gonna change some details to get this rusted effect into the helmet. Let's start by the noise texture. Let's change the scale to 8. And crank the details. And the roughness to 0 0.73. Now, for the Musgrave texture, decrease the scale of value to the minus 1 point, no, minus. And now we have that rust effect into the helmet. I'm gonna change the color to a white one. And I'm gonna also change the roughness of the material. Just like that, it's perfect. And here it is, we have our helmet here with scratch and some rust. And to change the color, you can just duplicate it and play with the color ramp here by selecting other colors. Just like that. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked my video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to more content.